Welcome to Centro Stop Time. Departure times for the connected corridor in several FU campus shuttles. That is the sound of the new LED system display. Centro has started the bus time pilot program. The new LED displays help students find out the estimated arrival of their bus. They are installed in various central bus stops around Syracuse University, including the Connective Corridor and the Shine Student Center. With the help of a state grant signed by Senator Chuck Schumer, $2.8 million will be invested into the pilot program. 15 LED displays will be installed in multiple bus stops. Students who use the buses say they find the new GPS systems to be convenient. Yesterday I just noticed um, that the system was here. Um, and from what I can see, like from the past two days I've been here, um, it, it seems to be pretty helpful. Junior Zach Ayers believe more SU students should know about the new GPS system. I, I didn't know, for example, until you just told me. Um, although I like the idea, and um, but I think the word does need to get out. Steve Cagle, the director of communications at Central, explains the benefits of having the pilot program at SU. We think it's good for the, our consumers, good for the students, um, and good for uh, people who use the university services to be able to have a GPS system that will tell them almost to the minute when the bus is going to be here, takes all the guesswork out of using uh, public transit. He also elaborates on what central officials will be doing during the 18-month period. For the next 18 months, we'll be uh, monitoring the services and the program to see how effective and how efficient it works. See how accurate the times are to make sure that uh, when people use um, the GPS system, that it meets their needs. There's also word that Central will be adding a new online GPS map so students can track where the buses are located. Although it is too early to tell whether or not the new GPS system will remain on campus after a 18-month trial period, many of the Syracuse University students I spoke to out here at the Connected Corridor are optimistic about its success. Reporting from the Connected Corridor, I'm Jose Moreno, Citrus TV News.